Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with a really big <laughs> Etsy's chair. My whole table over here is full, so I'm super excited to share everything with you and get it get it sorted so I can use it. So anyway, very exciting. I have some announcements too. We'll do that. So a little bit of everything, items, digitals, all sorts of things. We're starting with fabric. So I'm excited to tell you, if you didn't know already, that Kathy Holden's Outdoorsy Collection has been delivered to shops and is ready. Now, um, what I do is on Etsy, I put in the search line, Kathy Holden Outdoorsy, and all the available uh, fabrics come up. So. Um, and I've bought from a whole di bunch of different stores, depending on if I want full folds of, of uh, fabric like this, or if I want um, like a charm pack or a jelly roll or whatever. So just so you know, it's there. And I have shown this before, but it was before it was available. So I wanted to quick like go through all of the wonderful fabrics. Oh my gosh. I... Oh, I just can't wait to use it. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. There's these um, kind of like postcards. Totally postcards. Yeah. Of different mountain scenes. There's this mossy background. Isn't that perfect for a nature journal? <clears throat> Here's uh, um, some fishing fabric. And it's also got the blue to go with. Awesome for a guide journal, huh? Yeah. Some plaid. Love that. Also love this. It's great because you have um, sort of more neutral fabrics to go with some of the other fabrics. So um, this would make an awesome Christmas journal. Okay, that's going on top because I think I'm going to make a Christmas cover out of that. And then there's this. And the fishing in red. And then we've got some wood grain. And some basket. Woven basket. A little bit lighter wood grain. Ooh which also goes great with the yellow plaid. Some more moss there. So let's check out the difference between the mosses. I'm just curious. This is going to be the longest Etsy share video ever, but believe me, stay with me because there's all sorts of cool stuff. Oh yeah, see that? So just a slight color variation and it's a whole... It goes with a whole host of different things. This is, once again, the um, postcard, but the other one had a blue background. This is more of a, I don't know, granite-looking background. Oh, I love these. I love these collage ones. Look at that. So that's got more the blue background, where the other one was um, kind of an off-white. Oh, here's another basket weave in a little different color. Wood grain again. And the fishing in um, with uh, ivory background. Birdies, look at these birdies. Isn't that awesome? Oh, so much fun to be had with these Kathy Holden fabrics. I am such a fan. And then there's this one. And the background is kind of the teal. So there was one that was cream colored, one that was navy, and then this teal. Mm. Absolutely yummy fabrics and such lovely quality. So I'm really happy to know that these have come out um, and are available in stores. Thank you for telling us that, Kathy. Okay, I'm going to... Um, I found out on Instagram and I had these fabrics already, so I wanted to re-show you and tell you that those are available. Okay, so onward and upward. 
we have got here, had my myself a little shop over at MK Maz Designs. And she has these wonderful um, tags. And she's made a bunch kind of in this style, but with different florals, different paper dolls and stuff. Anyway, I got a couple with the little girls with their fur coats and and um, their hand muff thing because I thought they'd be awesome in Christmas journals. But um, I will tell you, last time I looked, MK had quite a few of these on her um, Etsy. So you might want to run over and grab them because I, I love them and I'm excited to use these in my Christmas journals. So that is MK Maz Designs. Okay, that's that one. Oh, and then, guys, look what I got. I'm so excited. Um, got to get them apart here. My pal Melanie at Texas Freckles has made me a couple more um, correspondence journals. So I'm going to be able to catch up with getting my correspondence tucked tucked away. She also has wonderful digitals in her shop, but... Um, Look at this. I can put a card over that and a card over that. Great idea, Melanie. Yeah, so I'm super excited because I have two more of those. So that's Melanie at Texas Freckles. So she has all kinds of wonderful things in her shop. Okay, so there's that one. Now we'll just kind of go through the piles here. Um... This one I had myself a little shop at Homestead Treasures. Mary over there. I absolutely love these little coffee dyed um, tags that have vintage with her vintage stamp stamped on them. Absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. So I got myself, I and I'm almost out of those. And then I just got some coffee dyed tags because you know, I had to had to beef up my order enough to get free shipping. <laughs> um, and then I got this stamped fabric that looks super fun. And more more stamped fabric. Let's see here if I can open these and show you. Um I thought this one might be fun for a slow stitch piece. So that's why that's why I got this one. And then this one I think will just be pieces for um, little fabric clusters or something, you know. I want I wanted to show you this one. Isn't this cool? And it's all like stamped. So, yeah, so grab those two pieces. Homestead Treasures, that's where this is from. So, there's that one. Okay, and then let's just grab this one because the pieces, parts and pieces are flying around a little bit. So, this is Shop Ulterior Motives. It's Carrie Mercer's shop. And um, let me just make sure that I say anything I'm supposed to. Okay, so these postage stamp charms, there's three in a set, glued to pasteboard, sealed with Mod Podge, eyelet, jump ring, and one to three seed beads and pretty paper on the back. And on her YouTube channel, she has a um, tutorial on how to make these. Oh, okay. I'm going to put them in my hand and get them up to the camera here. <clears throat> so they're little stamps. They're put onto uh, heavier paper or card or uh, cardstock, jump ring, couple of little beads. And those will be fun, just little dangles. So stamp charms is what she calls them. So I'll try and remember to link her um, YouTube 
channel too so you can see the tutorial on those if you're interested but she has them in her shop too <clears throat> okay adult card pack playing cards variety pack 40 pieces vintage and contemporary oh man i don't know if i'm gonna get that off of there i'm gonna have to cut it oh i don't want to cut the card okay <laughs> sorry guys let's take me a second to get in here So, vintage playing cards and contemporary. So, just all sorts of cards. Looks like we've got some password. I'll just kind of thumb through them a little bit so you can see. Oh, there's a farm one. That's a good one. A little farm journal. It's been a long time since I did a farm journal. Might have to do that. So all sorts of playing cards. Those are pretty. And game game piece type cards. That's an awesome pack, especially if you've just started um, junk journaling. That would be a great starter pack for you. So there's that, adult card pack. Then there's children playing cards, variety pack, 27 cards. Okay, let me see if I can do this. I don't, I want to keep the envelope. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so these are the children's pack. Oh, honey, that would be fun in a bee journal. Frozen. Oh, I love o Olaf. Hello, kitty. Cardinals. This is the Nats, folks. Old Maid, Thomas the Train. So, all kinds of kids go fish with Nemo. <laughs> so, that is the children's pack of cards. And showed you this oh and this was just a little um, a little toy gift that she sent for me so that's from Carrie at um, shop ulterior motives so that's that one okay let's do a digital shall we kind of intersperse the digitals okay so this first one is Vintage Christmas Joy, and it's from a jewel design. Let me get it down here. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it in a Christmas journal, which I have to finish one journal and then I'm on to Christmas. I'm, t I'm too anxious. So anyway, beautiful papers. I've backed them with the background paper that she, um, that she provides. And the only things I didn't print in this one was she has some polka dots and stripes. And I don't want those as pages, but I'm not sure. I'll probably use them for collage or something. So I'll get those printed out later, no doubt. So just wanted to flip through. It's got great nostalgic, you know, 50s kind of, um, kind of, uh, things in it oops I guess this goes like this because they're okay the Santas and the other things are up down and around okay make sure I do this right plaid with music and then this music one so that's going to be the basis of one of my Christmas journals this year so then this is all of the the fun ephemera and things and I wanted to get this all cut out this afternoon. So I'm excited to be able to show it to you. Pockets and journal cards and tags. And here's some um, fussy cut images. This is one of my favorite Santa um, images. I love that. 
So anyway, that is Vintage Christmas Joy from A Jewel Design. So that's that one. We'll put that over here. Okay, um, let's see what we have here. This pile of goodies I purchased from Casa di Cognetto. All these shops will be in the description box as always. So I, I got these um, photo slides. I love the pink and yellow. That's just not something that I have that I have seen before. Um, I've read or white with red lettering, but I loved the pink and yellow. So I got some slides there. Um, let me just make sure there isn't something in the card that I need to relay or anything. Um, oh, 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 she's so sweet. Oh, thanks, Alicia. She, um, she gave me some vintage lace from her private collection. She said, uh, in appreciation for not only the orders, but also for, for my videos and everything. That was really nice. Thank you, Alicia. Beautiful. Oh, I'm excited about that. That's wonderful. Okay, so back to what I purchased. This pretty little rosebud um, fabric. I just love that. And then, you know, lace. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for lace. So I got five different kinds here and then this one. And these are smaller white. I find I have so much use for that. And then I really like the kind of ecru color of these. So she's got great items in her store. So Alicia at Casa di Cognetto. That was a fun shop. That was a fun shop. Okay. So then, let's see. Um, I got a new a new sale. A new oh um, yeah, this is Winona from Dairy Barn Art, and over on her YouTube, she's doing a giveaway for an Edith Holden book for her three hundred subscribers. So I told her I would mention that. And then I'll put the, um, I'll put this, I don't know if this is just her channel or the video, but one or the other, I'll put that in the description box. And for the month of October, she's having a sale. All of the leather and upholstery sample kits are on for 30% off. Everything else is 10% off. Um, in Canada, they celebrate Thanksgiving in October. So this is her thankful sale. So um, I will add that to the sales. Then, oh goodness, I'll show you this little digital, which is in my shop in Cinnamon Tea. And um, I just, I made a digital out of some of these, um, I guess they're receipts. They're Italian receipts. And here are the backs. My pal Rachel gave me permission to make a digital from the ones that I purchased. So I have the fronts and the backs. And if you've been watching, I did do um, a project where I cut out the front, cut off the back, and put them together. And it makes an awesome little ephemera piece. I love this one because it has a gusto right there. But um, yeah, so I just picked my favorites out of what I purchased and made a digital for myself and so also made a digital for you. So there's that. Here is the one that's left from that project and so like I'll put that on the back and um, you know obviously cut them out and they're so cute. So anyway I just wanted to tell you those are up on my shop. Okay. And let's see, let's do, let's do this, let's see, yes, yes, just making sure I get it all. Uh, 
Okay, I think this is a different shop. Oh, it's hard, guys. I I got so much this week. Oh boy. Um, so this is from Chapter One Papers, and I love their digitals. Sue and Jan over there, and um, she has. Uh, they have sent this paper bundle, which has all kinds of yumminess in it. Look at that. Let me just see if I can pull out and just, just kind of show you. So there's wallpaper. There's um, a couple of beautiful doilies. I don't want to unbundle it because I think I might use this all in one journal. Um, just cool uh, ledger papers so many papers look at this all these book pages so this is their paper bundle tons of pages and then bigger pages some florals some of that yummy um, fabric paper a lot of um, ledger stuff look at this one yeah, just beautiful papers in that paper bundle from Chapter One Papers. Love it. And then they sent some digitals, and I'm super excited to share these with you as well. This one, oh my gosh, French Drawing Room, this one is called. And, oh, I can't even tell you. It is gorgeous. Well, it's pink and teal, so you know I'm going to be gaga over it. There we go. Okay, so let me show you. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, I love this one. Sue and Jan, this one is so beautiful. Collages of wallpaper. Wallpaper. Look at the little trims and things. Oh my gosh, just such a pretty kit. I don't know. There's something about pink and teal. It just gets my heart racing a little bit. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's labels and everything included. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so that one is French drawing room. And, oh, I just think it's gorgeous. So, thank you, Sue and Jan. I am um, in love with that. William Mixtures. These are the William Morris. And you know, I'm working on that journal right now. So that's awesome. I'm going to put these with that. Look at all different colors. I love that too. Oh, wow. These are really beautiful. Some patterns I haven't seen before. In the William Morris. Aren't they pretty? Oh, just beautiful. They they copied these on a little heavier paper, too. Could almost just make journal cards out of that. Some tags. Oopsie. And tags. I'm going to need to get those fussy cut out today. Because I'm working on that journal. Got to get it done so I can do Christmas. So that, and their kit is called William Mixtures. So chapter one papers, absolutely, they have gorgeous digitals. And um, they're on Instagram too. So um, I, I did see this kit on Instagram. And so I'm super excited to, to get that one. Oh, I love it. Okay, chapter one papers put it down here and then let's do this this is from my friend bob bob at signet stamps got my round label stamps um but he did let me no know and I, once again i'm just going to read this it's the easiest way to do it 
I have some unpleasant news to share. We recently learned that the polymer we are using to make our stamps is on back order and is currently having supply chain issues. This has never happened to us before, so I didn't consider it as a possibility when I announced the upcoming sale. So unfortunately, the sale that I plan to have will be postponed until we have some clarity about when we are going to receive our shipment of polymer. And when it comes, we are going to buy a lot of it to protect ourselves from this happening again. This polymer is an imported material and we cannot find it anywhere else besides where we buy it from. It's unique. We will fulfill as many orders as we can in chronological order until our polymer runs out. We are seeking an ETA on when we're going to get our polymer, but it's a situation where our supplier is waiting on their supplier and they cannot give us a clear, reliable date. I'm so heartbroken to write this note, but it's a situation beyond my control. If any of your followers don't want to wait for their stamps and want their money back, I will certainly refund their purchase price. But I'm hoping that if everyone can remain patient, that the wait will not be as long as people may fear. I will keep you all apprised of our situation as soon as I have a projected delivery date. To date, we have fulfilled 46 orders and will only be able to fulfill 12 more round sets before our polymer runs out. I still have 54 unprocessed orders in my queue. It sickens me to write this, but our supplier never warned us of a possible shortage. Please notify your followers who haven't purchased not to purchase this product from us until our polymer supply is replenished. I will be deactivating my polymer Etsy listings until this is resolved. I will be giving remaining customers the option to wait or be refunded. And that's from Bob at Signet Stamps. So um, I'm going to wait until I hear from Bob that they have got their, um, their polymer back in before I do a project with these, just because I don't want to do the project and not have you be able to get the supply. So there's that, doggone it. I feel really bad for Bob because that's, that's putting a damper on what he's trying to do. Okay, onward and upward. Here we go. Daisy at Tsunami Rose has a huge Christmas, um, all sorts of Christmas new digitals. And I just printed some of the ones that um, I want to use uh, in the first journal that I make. But there is Christmas Planner. There is... Um, there is lots of ephemera kits. Anyway, we'll go through some of these. Um, these are something like, I think it's like quotes, quotes and journaling cards or something like that. That's this one. She has fussy cut Christmas trees and also fussy cut um, butterflies, which I have also already used one out of, as you can see. So yeah, so these are going to be great for putting on ephemera that we're making. There's a Christmas wrap kit, and this one and this one are part of that kit. Then there's um, kits that have the like doilies, um, or tablecloths or whatever in green and red. Love those for collaging. And then um, these are just, these are some of the ones that I thought I wanted to use in this journal that I'm, I'm doing. Um, love this, so cute. I'll probably take out the dear little niece and just use this image, but super cute. Um, and these 50 Santas, I just love those, love those. Isn't this cute? And then these with the pink, I do have a pink, um, Christmas on my, on my mind as well. So I'll probably do those. Uh, here's some of the envelopes and some, some fussy cut. She's got several kits of fussy cuts. This is a collage sheet. She's got religious Christmas as well as the nostalgic Christmas. 
This is one of the calendar pages just to show you for the um, planner. This is from the religious kit with the lined paper. This is from the planner kit, um, shopping list and dinner menu ideas. And then this is a label kit with, um, these are all religious uh, labels too. So yeah, Daisy at Tsunami Rose and um, her Etsy will be listed down below. She's back on Etsy, so um, I will list her Etsy below. Okay, there's that one. Now, this one, guys, I, I need to take a look because I don't want to mess this up. Oh, yeah, these are e-papery. Okay, they're two different, two different shares. Okay, so this one is, um, oh, she's got a, she's got a sale code, 10% off for my viewers using Gale. 10. So I'll put that in the sales area. So Cactus Doodle Crafts. Cactus Doodle Crafts. So a new little shop for you. Okay. And um, let's see. I'll put that with the sales stuff. Okay. So she sent a little sampling of what she's got going at Cra Cactus Doodle Crafts. So, um, this one says a gift for you, and it's just got all sorts of tickets and cards and things in there. Um, oh, yes, right. She's got all these great sayings. Let me pull some, pull one of these out. So, this one's inspirational sayings. This one's winter sayings, fall sayings, and Halloween sayings. Um... So let me just show you. Let's show you the fall sayings. So they're on labels and you can just cut them apart. So crunchy leaves are the best. Fall is my season. Um, leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. Just all sorts. It says test your inks, markers, pens, glue paints, and more. On here first when in doubt test it out so you can colorize these too is what she's saying so that's really fun and she's got all sorts of sayings all sorts of different ones cactus doodle crafts and then um, this is a uh, hundred plus uh, set of text so all sorts of papers in here. Let me just give you a quick idea. I'm loving that people are putting out these sample packs because this is so helpful for newbies to junk journaling, I feel like. So, yep, all different kinds of book page in this. 100 plus pages. So be great to be tearing these up and using them for collage and stuff or backgrounds or whatever so there is that so new shop cactus doodle crafts there you go okay i'm gonna be i'm gonna be three hours getting the, all these in the uh, description box aren't i okay and then e-papery sent some wonderful things um let me do the little bits first so this is a mini snippet roll on a thread spool. Let me show you it. So um, I'm looking for the end. There it is. So snippets to use on your projects, and they come on a wooden, a wooden thread um, spool. Isn't that cool? So there's that one. Then. I so appreciate she puts e-papery on all the items, which helps me so much. <laughs> it really does. I appreciate that. And then look at this beautiful wallpaper piece that has been crocheted around. Gorgeous. Just a gorgeous piece. Oh, 
Love that. Shabby chicy too. Oh, so many journals to make, guys. This is various slow stitched, small padded embellishments. Oh, yes. So the, a couple little, just little squares. Oh, those are adorable. I love those. And then um, a butterfly, all slow stitched. Can you see that? Well, I need to come up here so you can see better. And a little tag shape and a flower. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, love those. Okay, and then um, a slow stitch butterfly, a bigger one. Here, let me get that one out. I'm putting these back in the sacks. Thank you for putting up with that for me. Um, but when she puts her shop on here, that's really helpful. Look at that beautiful butterfly that she made with all the slow stitching. Just gorgeous. Look at the back. Oh, love it. Love it. And then she also included in here a, a fall padded leaf. Let me show you that. Oh, gosh, guys. The packaging's going to be the end of me, I swear. Oh, fell out the bottom. Okay, got it. But slow stitch fall leaf. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. So, yeah, she just does beautiful work over there at e -Papri. Okay, and so and then digitals. Let's see. Looks like they need to go this away. This one is called Vivid Vintage all-in-one paper and ephemera. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then I'm going to put that back on there. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So uh, vibrant. Well, it's, what is it called? Vivid Vivid Vintage, it's, it's vibrant is what the plan was. Oh, these are so pretty, really beautiful. And then here's the ephemera, pockets and postcards and envelopes and trim, tags. Oh, love that, that's beautiful. I do, I do, I do. Then this one is Autumn is in the Air. Paper and ephemera are sold separately. So I just want to give you that. So it's got a steampunk vibe. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, that's pretty. Gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I love these. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. <laughs> yeah, so this one's fall is in the air. Whoopsie. Ooh, that's a pretty page, too. And tags beautiful that would be fun I have never done a steampunk journal can you believe that I just haven't I don't know there's just there's so many on my list I can't get to them all beautiful so that one autumn is in the air a little play on words with all the air balloons I love that then Think Pink. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even. Is this is from Aaron. Aaron and Michael are e-papery. Mm-hmm. I think we pretty well covered it. So Think Pink, all in one paper and ephemera. Ooh. 
Love me some pink. Wow, that is gorgeous. Again, so vibrant. These could be cut apart or you could use them as, as is. And then the tags and pockets and things, envelopes. Awesome. So e-papery for beautiful digitals and beautiful stitched items. Oh my goodness. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. Okay, guys, I have two more to go. <laughs> two more to go. Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, so I'm going to do this first. This is from CT Publishing. CT Publishing, and they've sent some books. Let me just go right here, I think, with books. So this is a website organizer, Quilting in the Rain Password, Keep, password Keeper. It's got some little quotes and it's got room for all your, your passwords. So I think this is awesome. Never forget a password again. And it's just got the pretty quilted cover. Then this one, Quilt As You Go Made Clever. 20 bonus ideas from best-selling author Jira Brandvig. And um, first of all, it's beautifully illustrated, but it's got um, all these ideas for displaying quilts in your home. And then it's got projects. All the different... instructions and all of that so all sorts of different just love them this one's awesome I love that one so anyway that is a quilting book quilt as you go made clever okay then we have adventures in improv quilts by Cindy Gristella and um, they are bright and happy. Palettes, talks about palettes, elements mm -hmm. of design, and so. So that is another quilting book. This one, Best Ever Iron on Quilt Labels, 100 Plus Designs for Graduation, Wedding, Baby, and More. Um, who's this by? Illustrated by Casey Dukes. So this is for transferring onto your quilts, I guess. That's what this one has to do with. So all sorts of different... Look at the little gnome. <laughs> All sorts of different designs in that. And then this is a, a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle of a quilt. Isn't that cool? Um, cafe, 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 facets, diamond quilt, thousand piece puzzle. So, all from CT Publishing. So, I will have their, um, the link to their website down below. And last, but certainly not least, Journey of Crafting. I did a little shop with some papers, and I think Natasha sent extras because, because she's awesome. <laughs> um, okay. She says um, she's hoping to have Christmas napkins up in the shop soon. She's also revamped her listings in the shop. Instead of sorting by type, she st started sorting the listings by theme. Hope it makes things easier to find. As always, your viewers get the special 20% coupon. That'll be in the sale below. It's always there. Um doesn't expire and you can use it over and over again. She also added the new Apple Season from Mint Mintay. Okay, 
so oh my goodness she added extras to what I had already ordered so first let's look at this first let's look at the apple season by Minte so she's she's put in the paper paper die cuts and then the apple season papers oh my gosh I'm just going to kind of hold this up since we've been here a while. <laughs> There's a bonus sheet on the back of the cover, it says. And look at these. Oh, they're just beautiful. The teals and reds in this, in this paper pack. And then the die cuts are these. Oh my goodness, so awesome. Okay, so that's the new Apple Season by Minte. I'm going to set this back here. And then, um, let's see, I'll show you what I ordered. And then, then we'll go from there. I ordered Minte's Woodland. And look at those papers. Aren't they cool? So, looking forward to playing with that. And then I ordered the Stamperia Romantic Christmas Collection. Look at those. Aren't they awesome? Oh, there you go. There's all the papers. But yeah, just, just beautiful. This little um, image is one of my favorites. So they, they had me at that. <laughs> So I think these are the extra things she she put in the cards collection for um, it's Christmas Christmas cards collection. Look at that! All sorts of fun things there. Um, Christmas clear stamps from Stamperia. Oh, those will be awesome to play with. Oh, wooden shapes interesting mm. look at those they're uh, they're cut out oh and it's my girl oh i'm excited she might have to go on a cover and this is chipboard um letters from stamperia romantic chris uh romantic collection for christmas rice paper that is of the collection as well. Oh my gosh, so fun. And then a stencil with postage things. Oh man, that's cool. So yeah, go. I, I can't really tell. It's got some stuff up here, but um, just go over to Journey of Crafting. And you can see about that. Okay, and then what is what is this? Check this out. Yeah, I'm always trying to. Oh gosh, I'm always trying to save the bags, and it makes me a little slow. Okay, this bag is toast. But it can be used for collage, can't it? Oh, and these are the other things I ordered. Some more of my, some more of my lovely lace that I love so much. Um, I ordered this uh, Finnabar vellum journaling. I I love this this vellum. It's so cool. Look at like, like look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So love that. Oh, I got the Woodland die cuts. And then I got the 8x8 Romantic Collection, too. So, all that from Journey of Crafting. So, that's it, guys. Can you believe all that came in this last week? Holy moly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll have fun having a little shop at all of these different these different Etsy shops. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.